Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We're going to get started with processing some user input. So we want to get the text the user types and convert it into a number. And so we're going to have to do a conversion from a text string into a number. And this is something that we have to do in computer programs because formatted text is not considered the same thing as a number that we normally do math calculations like what you might do on a calculator. So you wouldn't type words on a calculator. And so we have the same type of problem with our app in actually turning that text that we see on the screen into a value that we can actually process. So let's go ahead and add a new method. This is going to be called calculate all tips. And inside we need to get user input and we're going to use the guard let syntax again. All I want you to do is type this in as you see it. We're getting the subtotal as a number is equal to and then we convert the string that we're going to get from our text field. So we got a build text field dot text attribute. Now this is optional. So we have to force unwrap it and that will give us a value. Otherwise we want to return because that's not a good value. And then what we want to do is probably print out a message so that we're aware that there's a problem. And I'll just print out the value of the build text field. So this will give us some insight into why it's not working. And then the other thing we want to do is once we have the subtotal using the guard let syntax, we can now use that variable down below. So we can print And I'm using these strings where I can just inline the value so that now the subtotal is, and there we go. So if we go and run, nothing's going to happen because nothing's calling this method. So our next step is to make sure that we actually call this method. So let's clean up the code. You can try it for yourself. We won't see it because we haven't hooked up when this function gets executed. So you can pause the video, type what you see here, and then the next step is to actually call it. So there's two places we want to call this. There's when the calculate button tip is pressed and then down below when the return key is pressed. So let's go ahead and make a call to this. We'll, so we'll say calculate all tips. That's all we need to do. And then I'll scroll down. So that's our calculate tip button press. Scroll down to the text field should return. And in this one, we'll do the same logic. All right, so that will give us the functionality. Let's go ahead and run it. You can pause the video if you need to catch up. And once we're in here, we can click here and let's change. Looks like my keyboard's not working. I'll just hit the calculate tip button and we'll see not a number and then it shows us the formatted text. Okay, so that's kind of strange. Why would it do that? So both are working, both are telling us it's not a number. And so the problem that we're having is that we're trying to convert a formatted number into a unformatted number, if that makes any sense. So that dollar sign is really screwing us up. And in order to fix that, we need to work with a NS number formatter. So to do that, we are going to create a function that will convert a formatted number into a number that we can work with. So right underneath calculate all tips, what we're going to do is add a new method. And this is going to be called convert currency to double and double is a floating point value. So that's what we're going to be working with. And we'll just start typing. Now there's the potential where this can fail. And if it's not a real number, so let's say they wrote the word Adam or Apple, that would not be a number that we can convert. And so there's the chance for this to fail. And so we're going to return a optional double. That's what this means, where it might be a number or it might not. And that's the concept of optional values. I just want you to type this in and we will get this working. We're using the number formatter class. So that's the number formatter. And Just type this in. It's got a uh, uppercase N and F. And so that will create a number formatter. And all we have to do is set the number style to currency and then set our locale 
so that it's our current locale. So if you're not in America, you're not using dollars, you wanna use your correct currency, this will help you get that functionality for free. And if your users are in different countries, this will also work for them. So we'll adjust some properties on this. The number style will set to dot currency. And then the locale will set to our current locale. So if we say locale dot current, that will give us our current location based on where the device thinks it is using the GPS. And using that information, we can now appropriately convert this number if it is formatted correctly, that is. So let's say return, and then we will take our input and convert it using the number formatter. So there is a, a method here that will allow us to convert this into a number. And you'll see that it creates an NS number from string. So we press enter to autocomplete, and we type this in and we pass in our input string. Once we do that, we now have an NS number. That's not quite a double. And so in order to get a double, what we need to do is we have to do question mark dot double value. We have to do this and it will give us our value back. You can pause the video and, and type this in. Hopefully it still compiles. Now I haven't hooked it up yet. So let's go back to our calculate all tips. And instead of trying to do a straight conversion to double, we will use our new function. So we'll say convert currency to double right here. And you can get rid of this boilerplate code because it sort of messed up the formatting. Make yours look like this. And now what's gonna happen is it's going to run this logic. And when it does that, assuming we've got formatted number values in a currency that's in your locale, you should see that it does convert. And so we see that the subtotal is 100. So now the iPhone app knows how to work with the numbers. Now we can actually do math calculations with this value and move forward. So in this, in this lesson, we learned all about getting that initial input from the user. And then we learned how to actually get some formatted text and convert that using the NS formatter. This is a really important tool as you work with user input in your applications. And in the next video, we are going to learn how we can leverage this to actually do the tip calculation logic. So we now need to do the calculations that are on the screen. We've got the 10%, the 15%, the 20%. We wanna do all that math and then we wanna display those numbers. Let's learn how to do that in the next video. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below, you can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.